Here's some news you might have missed on the Bible Forum this past Sunday night. You remember John Kerry? He's our Secretary of State. John Kerry was keynote speaker at Northeastern University uh, a week ago Friday uh, at their graduation. Uh, while he was there, he took the opportunity, uh, obviously, to criticize the Donald uh, for his foreign policy agenda, saying that international barriers are, quote, nostalgia for some rose-tinted version of the past, end of quote. He went on to say that many of you were in elementary school when you learned the toughest lesson of all on 9-11. So I think that everything that we've, lear- we've lived and learned tells us that we will never come out on top. It sounds like he kind of likes the world that way. Uh, either that or he just likes the word that. Uh, if we accept advice from sound bite salesmen and carnival barkers who pretend the most powerful country on earth can remain great by looking inward, John Kerry doesn't really like his country. Then hiding behind the walls at a time that, well, it should be when, a time when technology has made that impossible to do and unwise to even attempt. He told them, you're about to graduate into a complex and borderless world. A growing popularity of Trump's anti-globalist message has caused immense backlash from the political class, especially Washington. During a press conference last month, Trump said, we will no longer surrender this country or its people to the false song of globalism. Under a Trump administration, no American citizen will ever again feel that their needs come second to the citizens of foreign countries. Here's the subtext. Keep, or rather, vote for Hillary and keep the wheel turning, at least in terms of globalism and the ever-present Agenda 21, which is now, I think, Agenda 30. Uh, Vote for Trump and globalism will apparently go out the window. I don't think so. I think John Kerry is looking at a brave new world. I think he's looking at totalitarianism. 